guys? How y'all doing? Hopefully you guys are doing well. And if you guys are a regular viewer of mine, what's going on, Cam Fam? Hopefully you guys are doing well. And uh, for those of you that are new to my channel because you clicked on this video because it has to do with weightlifting and fitness, welcome to my channel. My name is Cam. I normally film around the cars and the car scene, but that is not today's instance. I am filming around, you know, the fitness industry and all that. So uh, I thought, why not start off the video with something simple and easy to explain. So today's video is about sumo deadlifts versus the standard conventional deadlift. So what is a deadlift and why do, why do we do it? Well, a deadlift is a compound exercise where you have a barbell with weights on each side and it is on the ground and you bend down and pick it up and you stand up and the barbell comes to about waist level. And uh, the sumo style deadlift is very much different than your regular standard conventional style. So the sumo deadlift is obviously, you know, if you guys have been lifting for a while, it's, you know, you guys obviously know what the difference is right off the bat. But for those of you that are new, sumo style deadlifts is where you are basically standing wider than your shoulders and you have your feet angled at about 45 to 50 degrees, maybe maybe a little less, maybe a little more. It's all up to you on what's comfortable. Uh, and you just stand up and, you know, same thing. It may be a little lower than your waist level because obviously for the people that are doing their regular standard conventional lift, they're going to be standing up much higher. They're going to have a much more greater range of motion, which I actually have some notes here that I want to uh, tell you guys. A study from 2019 of, uh, from the Journal of Sports Science Medici Medicine shows that uh, a standard deadlift uses about 20 to 25 more greater range of motion, which you guys could probably tell because in a standard conventional deadlift, you are standing up much higher versus the sumo style, you are down to the ground much, much lower, reducing your greater range of motion. Now, some people think that the sumo deadlift is a cheat deadlift because you're not using your full range of motion due to the lack of range of motion lost in the sumo style of deadlift. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the sumo style deadlift, you're using 20 to 25% less range of motion than you are in the regular standard conventional lift. Now, like I said before, in the standard uh, conventional lift, you are up much higher, which means you are required to go much more range of motion than you are if you are down lower. Now, I don't remember if I said this in the beginning or not, but sumo deadlifter individuals tend to use the sumo style deadlift because they have longer torsos. But for an individual like me, i.e., I'm not that tall. I don't have that long of a torso, but I have a little bit of scoliosis. So sumo style deadlifts are also have studies have shown that they have also been a little bit easier on individual spine for taller people. Now, like I said, I'm not a tall person by any means. I'm only almost five, nine, 145 pounds, but, uh, I am not a tall person, but since I have a little bit of scoliosis, the sumo style is a little bit easier on my spine and I don't feel like I have back problems versus when I do do the conventional lifts, I feel like my spine, excuse me, I feel like it is a little bit harder on my back and I can't get the proper form and it is much, much harder for me to lift the weight. Now also, people seem to think that it's a cheat because you can lift more weights with the sumo style, which to a degree you can, but like I said, to each their own, you can lift a little bit more weight, but it is also a little bit easier because you're not going as high for the range of motion. So all in all, in conclusion, which one is the best and what do I recommend? Well, that is all up to you, the individual who is doing the compound exercise and lift. So if you're a much, much taller person with a longer torso, I would say probably the sumo style because you are not having to bend down so far and it is not as harsh on your back. Now, if you're a shorter person like me, but don't have back issues, then you may be able to do the the standard conventional lift no problem. But like I said, to each their own. You may find that the conventional is much easier than the sumo. You may find that the sumo is much easier than the conventional. Now, I can do the conventional 
up to a certain weight point. I can only do it, I think, oh God, I haven't done the conventional lift in so long. I think the last time I did it, I was only able to do up to 225 and then anything after that, uh, I had to switch to sumo style because like I said, I have a little bit of scoliosis. So this, uh, the sumo style is a little bit easier for me and more comfortable and it allows me to lift uh, do the lift properly with proper form and do it safely. So, uh, like I said, which one is better and which one do I recommend you do? Well, that is all up to you. So guys, with that being said, hopefully you guys found this video, uh, this informational video very helpful and educational. So if you guys want me to do more of these, uh, studies and, you know, fitness videos, please drop a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next video. So peace.